Hi guys, it's Paula and I hope you are doing well. This is going to be my monthly update for Project 10 Uses. This is just a project where I picked 10 items from my oversized makeup collection. I have to use that product 10 times and when I hit that 10 use mark, it rolls out and I could roll something in. It's just kind of ongoing indefinitely. I've been doing this video for a long time. If you look at my title or my thumbnail, you will see what number this update is, and that is how many months I've been doing it. I think we're well over three years. Um, and I've really been enjoying this project. I have been thinking in the last month or two about maybe taking a break from this project, but I also can't imagine taking a break from this project because this is the project that really gives me the most variety to my makeup my day-to-day -day makeup application. And um, I feel like I have so much makeup that is sitting in my office, not getting loved. And this project is kind of that antidote for the problem. So we're going in for another month, at least for now. I did meet my 10 use mark on two items this month. So that's pretty typical for me. I thought it might be more, but I couldn't make it happen. The two items I hit my goal on happen to both be MAC lip glosses, which is pretty coincidental. The first one I hit my goal on is this MAC Cream Sheen Glass in Pagoda. I love this. I love this so much. I particularly love this over that Urban Decay lipstick sample I'm trying to pan in my Advent Calendar Project Pan. It's just one of those little like blister pack samples. It's so tiny, but it's taking me forever. And one of the reasons I'm not drawn to that product aside from the fact that I have to use a lipstick brush and it's just kind of a hassle is the fact that it's just a matte lipstick and it's not that great looking on me it looks kind of aging and applying a thin coat of this on top of that made it a hundred times better and I liked it very much that way and it was very easy to use this sometimes I would love to put this in a project very soon and enjoy it more but for now it is going back in the office the next one I hit the 10 use mark on was called Flash of Flesh. A disgusting name. I don't know what my mind thinks of when I hear that name, but I'm sure it's not what, I don't think it's what the people at Mac thought it would be when they named it that. Maybe it was, I don't know. There's some dirty birdies over there. But this is it right here. It's just kind of a peachy golden gloss. I am wearing it today for the 10th time on top of my BFF lip liner from ColourPop. And it's just a nice warm nude. I like it. I didn't like it as much as this one, but I did like it. These are both in really good shape. They still smell great. That same like vanilla cookie scent that these glosses have. And um, I'm, again, so glad I had a chance to enjoy this and use this. I believe this came, I could be wrong. I wanted to say that this came in a holiday kit, but it might not have. But either way, it's a smaller size and I really enjoyed it. The other eight products in this project will be rolling over again for yet another month, but I wanted to go over what they are and tell you how many uses I'm up to for all of them. I am filming this two days late, three days late. Today's the ninth. So I got, I snuck in a couple of extra uses <laughs> over the last two days um, to try and just get as much progress on this project as I can. Unfortunately, I need to move on to some other products that are in other projects. But um, yeah, I really enjoyed playing with these products hardcore over the last couple of days to get a few extra uses in. The two items that have been in this project the longest now are the two shades from my Dose of Colors and Desi and Katie collab quad. All four of these were in this project at one point. I have met my goal on the top two and I am now working on the bottom two. I am still at four uses for a harpoon. I didn't touch this at all in the past month, but I am up to seven uses with Turbosan and that is the shadow I have all over my lid today. I finally found a way to wear this in a way that I love it. I have been trying to recreate a look with this shadow that Desi did on her channel when they first released this quad. I will leave a picture up here somewhere for you to check it out. I just thought it was the most stunning look I, don't, I think I've ever seen. And it's probably a big part of the reason why I bought this quad many, many moons ago. However, 
In that video, she used this quad alongside the Naked Heat palette, which I happen to have, but I have never, ever, ever, no matter how many times I've tried, been able to get my eye look to look anything like that look does in that picture. It just looks super dark and super smoky every time I try to recreate that look, and it doesn't look good. It looks like I'm going to the nightclub and I might have had a few beers before I started my makeup up. It just does not look good. And I finally got it in a way that I not only love, but I feel like is work appropriate. Like I feel totally comfortable wearing this. I look to work and I have been wearing it to work. And I also wear it on the weekend. I just, I really like this combination I created and it didn't use the Naked Heat palette at all. <laughs> what I did use to create this look, I'll show you. I brought it out just in case any of you were wondering. I started out with my Pan That palette, and I have this um, peachy shade down here that I'm trying to hit pan on kind of throughout my transition area. It's like a shimmery shade, but it doesn't show up that shimmery on my eyelid. But I put that on first under my brow bone highlight, and then I put this kind of rosy mauve shade throughout my crease and on top of my lid. I put a little bit of this black shade as like a liner on my upper lash line as well as my lower lash line. Then I put this away. Then I took out my Morphe and Jaclyn Hill palette. This is complicated. It's a lot of steps and a lot of shadows in a lot of different palettes, but I'm very happy with it. They're all in projects, so I'm glad to be working on so many. And I combined these two shadows right here. This is Jack. And this is buns and I'm trying to hit pan on buns. So I mixed these two together and I blended that like right in my crease on like the outer edge, not throughout the whole eye, but just kind of on the outer half of my crease. Then I took Turbo Sun and I patted that all over my eyelid. But then, then what made this so much more wearable for me, I took Halo from Luxie Beauty my focus shadow from my Panners Pan project. I took this shade right here and I patted it on top of Turbo Sun and it really lightened it up quite a bit. And I love the contrast of this like cool toned, like purpley shade on my lid and this like warm, these warm like orangey browns in my crease and transition area. I love it. And I feel like this is the closest I've gotten to recreating that Desi look, despite the fact that I did not use any of the same shadows she used in her look, other than Turbo Sun. <laughs> I'm very happy with it. I've done this look for the last three days and I would love to keep doing it more, but unfortunately I have to shift gears and move on to another eyeshadow I have in an update I need to film tomorrow. So, um, really glad I discovered this combination and I definitely plan on getting to 10 uses doing the same look three more times. And then I'll tackle Harpoon, which has basically been ignored for months. Two more eyeshadows in this project are right here. I have Oh Snap from my Too Faced Gingerbread Spice Palette, which is this one right here. I love that shade so much. I probably could include that in this eye look as well, but I did not. And then Oil Slick, is that what it's called? Yeah, Oil Slick from Butter London. Uh, I love combining these two together, which is why I always talk about them, like they're one thing. And I am up to seven uses for both of these. I don't know if I did this look once or twice in the past month, but I did at least one time. So I really enjoyed that look. I'm glad I got another use out of that. Um, combination. One product that unfortunately I haven't touched in the past month is my Rimmel Scandalize. No, not Rimmel. My Milani Shadow Eyes eyeshadow stick in Royal Purple. I haven't used this at all in the past month. I am still at one use. Just haven't made it happen. Next, I have my Physicians Formula Shimmer Strips in Warm Nude. I said it correctly. And um, this is the highlighter that I bought because everybody raved about it. And sadly, it has really dried out. I have been making it work by kind of like scraping the powder off the top and using that with a wet brush. I am wearing it today. I feel like it gives me a very beautiful natural glow, but unfortunately 
This is not the way I was intending to use it. And I'm really sad that this product got old and dried up while I was panning other highlighters. But I am up to eight uses for this one. So only two more uses to go. And then this rolls out. Next is my Je ne sais quoi uh, Tinted Lip Balm from It Cosmetics. I am up to seven uses. I still have three more to go. The only reason why I'm not at 10 uses is that I constantly forget to reach for this. I reach for other lip, lip balms and lip glosses over this, and then after it's said and done, I'm like, oh, I should have used the this one. I always forget, and um, otherwise I would easily be at 10 uses. I don't know what's going on. The only fault I have in this product, which is a, I really like this product. I've been enjoying it a lot. But when I apply this, I want to hold it down here, which feels natural to me to hold it at the base. But as I'm applying it, it kind of automatically winds back down to here. So in order for it to not wind down, I have to hold it like up here and apply it, which feels very unnatural. That is my only complaint about this product. Otherwise, I absolutely love it. And the final product rolling over for another month is the one that just came in last month. And this is my ColourPop Lippy Sticks in Marmalade. This is an amazing, amazing shade. It's like, it's, I can't say it's like nothing else I own because I'm sure I own something else like it somewhere. But it's like nothing else I've used in a long time. It feels so new to me. It feels so different from the typical lipsticks I have been panning and have been reaching for. And I've really been enjoying it. I would have totally worn this with this I look today. But I wanted to make sure I hit that 10 use mark on that um, MAC lip gloss. So I'm not wearing this today. The ColourPop lipsticks smell really good as well. Kind of like... A little too much but I don't mind it I can handle it but I am at four uses with this did I mention that I am at four uses so now it is time to show you what the two new products are that I'm rolling in for this month to replace the two products I hit my goal on for last month um, the first one is another lip gloss I am rolling two lip glosses out and I want to keep this lip stock and I want to keep this lip gloss train going so this time I picked a Bare Minerals lip gloss. This is the Marvelous Moxie in the shade Stargazer. I feel like I've never used this before. <laughs> this, I, I look at this and I cannot remember a time in my life where I've ever applied this. Maybe I did and it's been a long time. I should give it a sniff test. No, it, it, no, I, I don't think so. That is a clean wand. Still smells minty, fresh, and good. Oh yeah, like uh, sweet mint. These lip glosses have like a sweet mint smell. Yeah, this has definitely never been applied. I don't know how to describe this lip gloss, and I'm sure when I apply it, it will be quite sheer and it won't show up with a ton of color, but this is kind of like a rosy, bronzy shade. It's the kind of shade I look for in a bronzer, like a brown with a lot of rosiness to it. And I think this is going to be beautiful on top of my BFF lip liner I'm trying to pan and just in general. I'm really looking forward to using this and getting to know it and I'm ashamed that I've never used it before. That's unacceptable. And the next product I'm rolling in is an entire depotted palette of blushes. Sometimes in this project, when I want to reach for a palette, I will pick one shade like I have done for my Too Faced Gingerbread Spice Palette. I am only, runaway lipstick. I am only panning one shade in this palette and one shade only. So I, to meet my 10 use mark on this palette, it doesn't matter if I use any other shades, I need to use the shade Oh Snap 10 times. But in this case, I am going to count this entire palette as a usage. So. Maybe I will use this shade once, or maybe I will use this shade once, and each of those will count as a use. Or maybe, maybe I will just take my blush brush and just swirl it throughout this whole palette and see what happens, because I kind of feel like doing that too. So this is what this palette looks like. There's a bunch of old NYX blushes. There's um, Benefits Sugar Bomb. I think this is Pearlescent Pink from Wet n Wild. This is an old... Clinique blush. I 
I want to say this is prescriptives, but I could be wrong. It might have been something I got off of Hope Look. I don't remember, but that is a beautiful like NARS orgasm kind of blush. Another Clinique like highlighter blush. This is one of those um, hard candy fox in a box blushes. I think this is a Makeup Geek blush that I have two of. Yep, it's called Summer Fling. This one, oh, that's a deep pan. This one doesn't have any kind of a sticker or identifier on it, so I'm not sure what that is. And neither does this one. So, I am rolling this entire palette into this project for Project 10 uses. Like I said, maybe for some of the uses, I will be focusing on these blushes individually, or maybe I'll just mix them up. But I'm really excited to dip into these products that I basically haven't touched in years, years. And um, I'm really excited. I'm excited to show these some love. And maybe once I hit the 10 use mark on this one, I will roll in another one. Cause I have like three of these. I have like three magnetic palettes filled with depotted blushes, as you might know. And I would like to get some use out of these, even if it's just 10 uses. So I am actually kind of excited. I'm really only panning two blushes right now. One of them is the Loose Powder Blush from Bare Minerals that is in my Let's Get Loose project. And the other is the MAC Modern Mandarin Blush that I just rolled into my Graveyard Project pan. Those are the only two blushes that I am currently working on. So, I mean, that's enough. That's enough, but I don't feel overwhelmed by bringing this palette in either for 10 uses. I think it'll be okay, and I'm looking forward to it. So that is everything. Oh, no, that's not everything. As of today, because of this project, counting these two new products, I have been able to use 104 items from my makeup collection 10 times that let's face it, probably would not have gotten used otherwise. So that feels really good. That's why I do this. And a lot of times these products do end up in projects to use up entirely down the road or every once in a while these products end up getting decluttered and it's all a learning experience. So that is everything for this update today. Thank you guys so much for watching. I do appreciate it and I will see you in the next one. Bye.